Haiti's government announced that at least seven people have died from cholera, raising concerns about another potentially catastrophic epidemic, like the one that broke out a decade ago and killed nearly 10,000 people. The cases came in a community called Dikayet in southern Port-au-Prince and the seaside town of Sid du Soleil, where thousands of people live in crowded, unsanitary conditions. Food or water contaminated with the cholera bacteria can lead to severe diarrhea and dehydration that can be deadly. The United Nations said in a statement that it is working with Haiti's government to gather an emergency response to the potential outbreak. The deaths came as lack of fuel and ongoing protests shut down the availability of basic services across the country, including medical care and clean water, which is key to helping fight cholera and keep patients alive. According to all the information we have, the number of deaths range from seven to eight. In one death that happened in the course of today, unfortunately, was a person who died in the community. This is a problem when there are people who have diarrhea, vomiting, and have no way to get the person to the health center where they could survive. I will take the opportunity to ask the protesters that have the right to protest, but I ask them to allow potable, drinkable water and ambulances to go into neighborhoods they need to get to.